Hi friends, this is soft raising. You are welcome. This is where we stop in the last lesson. We are we are able to model these straight foundations, okay? The straight footings, okay? And so uh, in this lesson, we will be looking at how we will run the analysis as well, design this straight footing, general reinforcements as well, okay? And so if you are not in the previous lesson, part one, kindly go and check the lesson, watch the lesson video so you can have a better understanding and also if you are new in this on this channel kindly subscribe as you support the channel like the video and share it to your friends it may be a help to your friends in one way or the other and so let's start okay now we will go to uh, the story zero we we double click there okay then we navigate to our plan view okay all right so once we navigate to our plan view, the next thing we will do, we are going to uh, draw our uh, foundation uh, strips, okay? So you will click on slab strips. We are going to draw our slab strips, okay? So you click on slab strips, okay? Once uh, the slab strips properties dialog shows, you will come to this place and you will change it to FE strips, okay? Which is finite uh, element analysis uh, strip, okay? All right, and after which you come to FE tab, okay? Once you open your FE tab, you will enable this tab, okay? This tab is enabled as default, okay? But you are going to enable this one, okay? And so once you enable this one, you are going to draw a strip, okay? So how do you do that? I have enabled this, okay? And so what I need to do now is I will click on this point, click on this point, okay? Then you will move your cursor to this point, okay? And then you click. Once you click, you have something like this, okay? And so once you have something like this, you will have to adjust this to fit the foundations, okay? You will adjust it to fit the foundation width, okay? And so for you to, for you to be able to do that, Okay, for you to be able to do that, uh, you will have to come back to general uh, tab. Okay, in the general tab, you have a uh, extent left and right. It is 1000 and it is also 1000. So, you know, when we were offsetting this in the modeling lesson, we use 700, okay, 700 offset upwards inward and outward okay and so you are going to put 700 here okay that is left okay and you will go 700 also this side okay which is the right side okay and then you click on you click on update all right so it has fit in okay so this is what we are actually expecting okay this is our strips okay all right so uh, the next thing we will do we will also draw the strips for this particular site as well okay uh, so we will zoom we will zoom out okay we will zoom out and then we will click on this point again all right and then you click on this uh, point also you have another strips here okay all right so you do the same thing here you, you we are not going to click here so that the strips will not overlap okay so we will have to click at this point okay and then we click on on this point to draw another strip here you do the same thing here okay now you have to do all of this before you carry out your anal analysis okay All right, you do the same thing here. Click on this point and this point. You do the same thing here, this point and this point. You do the same thing here, yeah, and yeah. Okay, the same thing here and yeah. All right, so you do the same thing here and yeah. Okay, you do the same thing here and here. You have to zoom in. Okay.
and you will do the same thing here all right so now we have successfully insert our uh, <coughs> strips okay finite element strips okay and the next thing we need to do we want to go into the uh, analysis okay and so we will have to uh, update and then we close this okay after which we will save the project So after saving the project, we will go to analysis tab. Okay, you go to analysis tab. You click on it, and then you click on finite, uh, finite element rough foundations analysis. Okay. Once you click on that, in the dialog, you will have to check your material. You can edit your material as well again. You can't decide to check this your slabs okay we are using y16 and y12 okay all right you can also check your foundation okay the river the same thing okay you okay it all right and so after which you will click on this point you also click on to check this point then uncheck check this point okay you can't check this point as well so after which you will click on rough foundation mesh and analysis all right so once you have this okay once you have this you will click on generate model all right so once your model is generated successfully just like this just like this okay you click on this close button and wait a while for the program to perform finite element analysis All right, you can see that the finite element analysis result has been performed okay successfully then the program has moved you to post analysis processes and reports okay so at this point you can now edit your uh, bearing capacity okay or if the bearing capacity is okay you go into analysis post processing you click on it All right, so this is what we have okay you can see the load on each of the columns okay from the roof to the columns okay and so we will have to check the animation how uh, the load affected this our street footing okay so you click on animation you can see the behavior of the street footing as well you can increase so you can see it in a more deformed manner you will notice that there is much load at this end okay there is much load there compared to this place okay you can see the behavior of the foundation okay so who we'll, who we'll stop the animation then we will generate our standard contour okay and then we will also generate our uh, contour So uh, you click on this uh, user defined okay to enable the contour as well so after which you will come to this a uh, bending moment in the global X okay you click on it and as well as this this okay in the local axis 
you click on it you can see the bend moment on the key okay the bend moment values okay then the design moment okay you must first click on this okay because it is now you are doing the design so this is for you to get your required steel area okay so you click on the area of steel in the at the bottom okay so you can see the maximum area of steel at the bottom is 710 okay so you can now come to edit contour okay this place edit contour but by then you can transfer your contour okay you transfer it to the program okay and so you click on edit contour in this edit contour you can come to this place click on both okay once you click on both you ne enable steel bar one okay you check it all right so you are now going to check spacing okay as in what spacing that uh, what spacing can give you this particular area of uh, steel which is this particular area of steel or above this one which is two six two two okay six two two millimeter square okay so you click on this point where you are seeing spacing all right and then you will first enter 150 so you can see that white wave at 150 spaces gives you 500 753 of area so it's greater than this it is also greater than this so this bar now will be okay for this uh, uh, for this uh, area of steel at the uh, bottom okay so you just need to click on update so once you click on update you can see it appears in this place okay so you click on okay all right so once you click on okay you will come to the area of steel in the bottom two the other the other directions okay so you click on it so once you click on it you are having 940.92 okay as maximum okay so we will have to come to edit contour once you come to edit contour you can come to this point or you can still on this point okay and then you go to boot and click on steeper okay if you click on steeper you now check you notice this area of steel at this direction bottom is higher than the previous one okay so you try to use let's say uh you use 150 and see what is going to give you you can see that 150 is giving you an a value contour of 753 which is now up to 823 okay and so you will have to go back and change it to 125 okay spacing okay what's 25 spacing it gives you 904 okay which is greater than 823 okay so this can withstand this particular load in this area and this directions of this uh, strip foundation okay and so you can as well change it to 100 and see the value it is going to give you it's giving you 100 and uh, 1130 okay which is greater than 940 all right so this can go by this so in this direction you will be having your steel white wave at spacing 110 but in the other direction you will be having your steel spacing bottom uh, white wave but this spacing will be 150 so you click on update all right and then click on okay all right so you can see all appear in this key okay so what you need to do you go to the top the first stop you click on it okay once you click on the top you can see you are having 570 top so it's even less than what we have at the bottom so we will use what we have at this bottom to generate the uh, steel reinforcement for the uh, strip foundation okay so you check this button to the second direction you are having 602 okay so it's far less than what we have here okay so that is it the next thing you need to check you need to check for your soil pressure you click on the soil pressure so once you click on the soil pressure you can see the key at this point where you are seeing red it is where the soil is quite very critical okay so if you are moving your cursor around the uh, strip you will be seeing different level and it will be checking either okay or failing okay yeah 
we are like what is okay so if you come to this place they may be giving you some warning if the value you're having is uh less than 105 okay all right so i think this is quite very okay all right so that is all that we need to do okay so at this point uh in this our direction two we want to also transfer the contour okay so you click on it once you click on it you can see our uh reinforcement okay for that direction so we click on export contour and then you click on okay all right so after which you will go to this close tab and you click on this close button all right so it's trying to transfer the strips okay so you click on okay so the program will transfer the strips okay Alright, so the analysis and design has been carried out successfully. So you click on closed. Okay. So now once you click on closed, what you now need to do is it is either you come to this point, see this tab, you click on this tab and then you click on slab steel bars. Oh okay. Or you click on this uh board area, you right click okay and then you come to arrange the bar and then you select slab steel bar okay click on it so once you have clicked on it you can see the changes that the program has generated steel bar for this our strip foundation you can see you can see it so you have a white wave at 125 okay bottom okay you are also having white wave at uh, 125 top okay so the program have designed the strip foundation for you based on the load okay if this lesson has helped you in one way or the other kindly subscribe like the video you can also share it with friends okay and so this is it so you can see we have be able to analyze and design our strip foundations okay so these are the reinforcements you can see white wave at 125 top you can see and bottom here okay so this is the bar you can see there okay this is the bar okay so this is how a uh, strip foundation is being designed using prota structure okay so one thing i want to let you understand is how you can bring out those contour that you save okay you can't come to this point you click on this point okay then you come to fe contour which is the finite element contour okay once you click on it you can see the two contours we save okay all right so if you click on it that is the first one okay you can see the first contour okay so you click on this one you see the second one okay so you just hit on the okay button and then you have something like this okay just like this all right so this, this is the lesson for today if you are not subscribed don't forget to subscribe the channel help the channel and like the video as well as we look forward for more advanced lesson in not only prota structure but other engineering softwares okay and so i want to say bye for now and see you in the next video